Okay, welcome back to the data collection video. And also here, I'm going to give you some tips lah, about what happened uh, in doing the actual lab and when you should ask for help from the lecturer. Okay, so if you watch the footage before this, you will notice that the reading is always more or less the same. So when I go take your reading, take your reading, take your reading, take your reading, it was all around 14. This should actually give you a sign that something is wrong. So I guess at that point, you could raise your hand or like me, you could troubleshoot. Okay, so here are my findings. Number one, I noticed that I probably should not clip the... Okay, let me remove this so we have the real estate back. Okay, I probably should not have clipped the crocodile clips here because I cannot check whether this wire is connected properly. So what I've opted to do is to sacrifice a little bit of length here, maybe about a cm, a cm and a half, and clamp it on this wire here. I think during the actual exam, you'll be given the real wire. Lah. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. When you come here, I repeated the same thing. Okay. The second modification I did was this switch. This switch is, switches are always very problematic because... Um, you see, uh, I don't know what's the connection inside. There are all sorts of problems. So, normally I don't use switch. Uh. Do not worry. You will not be electrocuted by a 1.5 volt battery. How is that even possible? 1.5 volt battery cannot electrocute you. Okay. Right. So, anyway, let me adjust myself back to normal size. So, if that is the case, then how are? Uh? Well, I would say, number one, we need to think about what are the other contributors, for example, the switch. So I will show you what I mean by readjusting so that my X is, once again, around 50 cm. So I'm going to move this back in frame for you. So this is around 50 cm. Hopefully you already know what to do, so I don't have to stay too much. Okay, I keep this at 10. I'm going to have this at 60. Okay, so this one is still at 10. As you can see, I didn't change it. I'm just going to move it here a bit so I got more space. And I'll have this at roughly 60. Okay, so if you feel like it, you can modify your reading if you want to. But this is real life. Lah, huh? So if let's say um, I connect this way. I kind of don't want the same thing to happen again. So what I'll do is I'll put it into a switch. If I know some circuit, right, I will know what will happen when X increase. When X increase, you have a larger parallel, parallel F. So what I expect is the longer this length, the longer the resistor connected in parallel, the smaller the value of R, the higher the current. So I'm going to leave this here so we can read together, okay? So this is around 10, 10.1. Okay, and I'm moving this to the far end just to double check. 10, 10.2. Hmm, very sus. I'll move this back to this part. I, uh, let's see, where can I climb where it's still in range? Okay, unless I put 30. So you can see a decrease. It's not very, it's very meh. Okay, so let's try what happens when I take away the switch. Okay, thanks, bye. Go away. And I clip it directly on top of each other so obviously the reading now will change on one end it will be around 9.9 .9. let's see about the other end so let's say i put it close to the other end this is about 90 cm so this is still 10 10.1 10.1 10 .1. okay like i said as long as you don't solder all this reading will be very finicky one Maybe it's just camera shy. I pull it down. It decreased a bit to about 0.1. Pull it down some more. 9.9. .9. I'm just testing. 9.8, 9.7-ish. Again, just testing. Hmm. This is concerning. Nine point seven. 
9.6. Okay, so if I put it at 10 cm, I'll get 9.6. 9.7. If I put it at um, 90 cm, oh yeah, I'm just going to put it at 95. Lah. So this is 9.9. .9. Interesting. This was not the previous reading. Did I tuck you out? Did I tuck you out? So it's always a good thing to check the connectors, as you can see. So pain much pain all right so i'm gonna i guess connect it this way it's a slightly cheating switch okay so we have 10 point four ten point three let's put it at 13 so about 2 cm 9.8 9.7 10.3 to 9.7. Okay, I guess there's a big enough range that I can find for us. 9.7 here. Everyone's circuit is different, so hopefully <laughs> the person that's doing this in the lab, not in their own house like me in the middle of the night, will have better reading. 9.9. 9. So you can see it keeps changing. Right? So we're just going to try our best to get what we want. And I've concluded that... This one also will have some problem. Uh. Okay. So this is why I recommend you check your wires. And I won't tell you if my wires are faulty simply because even if they are, I can't change it. I can't go like, teacher, I need help. I am the only person here doing this lab. There's nobody to exchange with. So if you encounter this problem, please ask for help. All right. Anyway, I'm going to just, I think I'll just do this. Because I guess I could clearly see that it's a single piece of metal here. So... I must be really unlucky if it doesn't work. So connect this way. Okay, and in order to quickly take reading, this side here is 10. Make sure everything is tight. All the connection is tight. You cannot see, but I'm checking all the crocodile clamps now. Okay, we're going to start from where my emitter is. So this one is at 95 cm. Okay, so I'm going to move my camera a bit so you can see. Or well, at least I'll try to move it a bit so you can see. Okay. So 95. We'll start from here, the bottom one. Okay. And uh, as much as I would like to bloop up my emitter, it is not. So you just got to trust me that this is 95. And... Uh, I guess I'll move it back to the correct place or the proper place, which is here. Let me adjust. Camera problem. So, Sadao, normally we use a turning potential meter in the lab, but A level is a very special donkey. I mean, special paper. Okay, so if I disconnect, it's just as simple as me removing the crocodile clamp from this thing. Lah. Okay, so you can tell from the video when I disconnected, and this is the emitter. Okay, so I will slowly move this closer to the 10 cm mark. So we have un readings from, I guess, this point here is 95 minus 10, or 85 cm, all the way to, I guess, 5 cm. I will decrease in 10 cm intervals. Lah. Okay, we don't need that much reading, we only need 6. Okay, so ready or not? 95 cm and 10 cm. Let's go. Let's hope this time is the charm. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna decrease this to 85. Okay, so just now was about 10.4. This is 10.2. I guess I'm just gonna write mine as well. 10.4, this is like 10.1. Okay, la, dropping very rapidly. Don't like this. Disconnect. Okay, so 85. Now I'll go to 75 ish. Okay. 3, 2, 1, connect. 
10.0. Okay. Moving on to the next one. Disconnect again. We've got 75. I'm going to move on to 65. Or what I think is 65. Okay. So, the previous part, my planning was to increase in every 10 cm. But now, since I've did put my connector from this side, I just pull it back in. It does not matter what order you take the reading. Okay, so if you don't think this is 65, just do whichever you think is right. Lah. Okay, so I'm going to connect it in 3, 2, go. So I just roughly went to it like more or less like stabilized somewhere here. Okay, it will keep jumping and it will keep dropping because the connections are all not very secure. So I think I will roughly wait for a, a particular time interval and then take a read. Because it's just going to keep dropping. Okay, let's test it out. See? Will it ever stabilize? I guess one could say it's stabilizing at around 9.7, 9.6. Okay, I'll put 9.6 lah. And then if you're feeling insecure and you want to go back, I got you. I go back for you. This is 75. It's also about the same. So all this is very concerning to me right? because the reading of current never change. Okay, never mind. Let's continue. We have done 65, we've done 75. I would suggest you keep the previous reading, not the second one. And now we're going to do 55. Real experiment, lah, okay? Because I'm thinking about the trend. I cannot do anything to adjust or solder the circuit. So I will disconnect. It's 55. Connect again. I saw 7 just now. Do we have 7, my friend? You're going to keep dropping. 9.4, 9.5. Okay, I'm going to continue to 45. Okay, so this is 45. I guess this one we can put 9.3. Okay. You gotta you gotta move fast. Alright, 35. So the data collection is generally quite fast one. 9.2 Cannot really see, don't worry, I'll move it in for you. This is 25. Yes, 9.1. I'll put it down to 15. So I hope you know what this value of x is. But you can see this reading will be not very good. So I, won't, I don't want to take this one because I want to keep the trend. I do have a missing reading, which is 50 cm. So I'm going to try to rectify that by putting this one at 10. I'm putting this one at 60. Okay, so this is 60. Yep, this is 60. Roughly 60. I'll just disconnect and connect again. But we do have an initial reading just now. Right. Nine point two seven, around nine point three. 
Okay. So generally, I'll look at my reading and I'll try to squeeze 50 in between the same number. Lah. Okay. So it should follow a trend. And uh, I'm also going to hope that 15, x is equal to 15, will give me a number that is smaller than 9.1. Okay, I'm not going to take the last digit because the last digit makes no sense. It keeps jumping. The uncertainty is too big, guys. Too big. Okay, I'm going to put it at around 15 cm. Are you going to drop? Do you intend to drop? Can I write 9.0? Will you drop to okay? There we go. <laughs> 9.0. Oh, I missed the increase again. Yeah, lo. if I touch the connection... All this will drop. It will change. So this is a problem with a very wire-based circuit question like this. All these numbers fluctuate. It is dependent on your equipment. I only have one equipment in my house. It's not like I can jump to another table and do another self-experiment. So real life, real talk, what you have to do is you have to be satisfied that there's a trend. For example, uh, when I make this shorter and shorter, the current is dropping. So it should follow the trend. You cannot have one value bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. That would not be good. Okay? So just try to plot a graph. In fact, you see, sometimes it's 89, 8.9. Try to plot a graph. Figure out what works for you. Okay? And uh, I will see you in the next video. But the experiment is done. Alright? So... Don't forget, circuit is very finicky. Hopefully, you have the chance to practice at least once. Good luck with your lab. And I'll see you in question two. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.